you as the archer are putting the energy into the bow. Muscles in your body store the energy that's held in the bow. The accuracy, the tolerances, the dimensions. You want as much of that going into an arrow as possible. There's things that Matthews has done and will always do to ensure that we have the most efficient bow that you could ever shoot. Matthews as a company and as a culture, we are built to never settle for our current product. We're constantly looking at how we can make it better. It's a huge bar, very high to hit. We are our number one competitor. We have to beat last year's bow. It doesn't just start with the design and pushing the other departments. The other departments are coming to us because they care enough to want to expand our possibilities. And the company is willing to invest in those things, willing to invest in technologies and trying things that have never been done before. We can test it, try it, fix it. And everyone in that feedback loop is passionate about that. That way you as an archer are getting as much as you can. We take what is our best we've ever done and we immediately scrap it and try to figure out how to make it better. We won't stop until we do. Well, the goal's been stability without compromise and we've been achieving that with long, rigid risers, short, stable limbs. The progression has been making that stable platform as stealthy as possible. Traditionally, there's four limbs on a split limb bow. This bow has eight individual limbs and they're separated by a very thin vibration dampening rubber. The flagship technology on phase four is the resistance phase damping. We are eliminating the vibration and mainly the sound right at the source. The limbs are the spot that the vibration will travel down. It's the starting point of that vibration to get into the riser. And what it results in is an incredible reduction in the sound of the bow. We are left with way less residual vibration from the start that we have to dampen. And we are very good at dampening that little bit. The real value of resistance phase damping really shows itself when it's paired with our new bridge lock stabilizers on a fully complete setup bow. Last year, bridge lock was huge for us to completely open up the whole side of the riser to change where the quiver mounts, where the sight mounts, and now to move that technology into stabilization. We're using the stabilizer as the connection, and that gives us more freedom to put weight in areas that's needed, which is outside, away from your riser. The best stabilizer, the bar would be infinitely light and infinitely stiff. That weight is resisting your movement. The connection with the riser makes it so much stiffer. We can put the weight exactly where we want to and optimize it for each setup, plus the bonus of the reduced vibration after the shot. Stabilizers in the past have been an addition to your bow. The bridge lock stabilizer feels like it's a part of your bow. Everyone's setup is different, and because of that, Everyone's experience with our product is different. What will my new setup do for me that my last year setup did not? We might have just given a moose. A moose. Matthew's Pioneer Damping. We own silence. We own stealth. <laughs> we really set out to build a system that is incredibly efficient, incredibly quiet on its own, but two, adjustable enough to meet the demands of a bunch of different variables, sights, quivers, stabilizers. When a guy gets a bow in a shop and sets it all up, this first thing he do, bolts everything on, that's when he gets the first feel of what that new technology does. This is the biggest step we've taken in reducing vibration and sound since 3D damping. limbs are working and dampening at the same time. It's fast, it's quiet, it feels good, but what's it like when I put all my accessories on it and I build it the way I want to? The Phase 4 combined with the new bridge lock stabilizer is the best all-in-one setup we've ever built. The benefit of the two technologies on the Phase 4 this year are up to 13% quieter, 
and up to 37% less vibration. It's something that you will notice right at the first shot. And it can be those little micro decisions that lead to your success or failure. And it's that passion that we bring to the design as well. Smallest dimension or tolerance can have great effects in testing and then ultimately in the field and the stories we get back. Okay.